This clip explains how assessment of the va peripheral vasculature can give us important information regarding peripheral perfusion. Perfusion is the flow of blood to the tissues. It is important because blood delivers oxygen and nutrient to the cells. Peripheral vasculature has an inherent vasomotor tone. The vascular tone represents the balance between the local measures to secure adequate blood flow for metabolic demand and the neural vasoconstrictor reflexes that attempt to maintain arterial pressure. Critical insults can alter this balance. An insult causing severe hypoxia can impact vascular tone and cause vasodilatation. This explains how vasodilatation leading to shock has been noted in near fatal attack of asthma, severe bronchiolitis, strider with severe hypoxia, status epilepticus, submersion injury, etc. Cytokines and venom are other critical insults that can also impact vasomotor tone. Whether you are managing sepsis, a respiratory emergency or neurological emergency, the modified rapid cardiopulmonary cerebral assessment is incomplete without evaluating perfusion. The four signs of peripheral perfusion are interpreted based on the line history that is lethargy, incessant cry, not as usual, excessive sleepiness, the history from the mother, and the other parts of the Prem triangle. Now the first is core peripheral temperature gap. This sign is based on comparison of temperature felt between the core and limbs. To score and maintain uniformity in reporting, this clinical variable is noted as cool below ankle, knee, thigh or warm throughout. Warm throughout. Warm peripheries could be considered as normal. But warm peripheries also herald vasodilatory shock due to hypoxia or sepsis if mom reports drop in the level of consciousness and the other parts of the triangle are abnormal. As shock worsens, vasodilatation progresses to vasoconstriction or warm becomes cool from periphery to proximal. Comparison of pulses. If vasodilated, the dorsalis pedis when compared with the femoral is easy to feel, that is it is bounding. If vasoconstricted, the dorsalis pedis which is the most distant to the heart becomes feeble or difficult to feel or not felt. Comparison of pulses, a hugely subjective variable, has been given a score to aid standardized documentation. The femoral pulse is a stronger pulse and is given a score of 3 plus. An easy to feel dorsalis pedis is given a score of 2 plus. If the femoral and the dorsalis pedis are both easy to feel, the score is 3 plus bar 2 plus. If the femoral pulse is well felt but you need to search for the dorsalis pedis to locate, then the score is 3 plus bar 1 plus. If the femoral pulse is felt easily but you do not find the dorsalis pedis, the score is 3 plus bar 0. If you have difficulty feeling the femoral pulse and the dorsalis pedis is not felt, the score is 2 plus or 1 plus bar 0. Once you have scored the pulses, it is interpreted by taking the line history and the other parts of the triangle into account. Femoral pulse is 3 plus and the dorsalis pedis is 2 plus. If the line history is negative and the other parts of the triangle are normal, it is interpreted as normal. The femoral pulse is 3 plus and the dorsalis pedis is equally felt at 3 plus. If the line history is positive and the femoral and dorsalis pedis are equally felt, it is suggestive of vasodilatation, that is white pulse pressure or warm shock. The femoral pulse is easily felt 3 plus but the dorsalis pedis you have searched and located it. If the line history is negative, the child is alert and the other parts of the triangle are normal, consider the, a variation of the dorsalis pedis. 12% have an aberrant pathway for the dorsalis pedis. If the line history is positive on the other hand and the dorsalis pedis is difficult to feel in comparison with the femoral pulse, it is suggestive of cool or narrow pulse pressure shock. The central pulses are 3 plus and the peripheral pulse is 0. If the line history is positive and the dorsalis pedis is not felt in comparison with the femoral pulse, consider the possibility of hypotensive shock. The central pulse is difficult to feel and the peripheral pulse is not felt. If the child is unresponsive, the airway is unstable, breathing is apnea, the heart rate is bradycardic, blood pressure is not recordable, consider the possibility of imminent arrest. Color Color abnormal Ashen Pallor Dusky 
cyanosis, mottling. These findings are also noted if perfusion is abnormal. Whatever color difference you note in comparison with your palm, it is reported as quote unquote abnormal in the context of mom's history and the other parts of the triangle. If mom reports a drop in the level of consciousness and the other parts of the triangle are abnormal and the pulse pressure is less than 40 or systolic blood pressure is relatively low or truly low for age, consider the possibility of cool shock. Bright pink or flush color suggests vasodilatory shock. If mom reports a drop in the level of consciousness and the other parts of the triangle are abnormal, consider this as flushed or bright pink. Now the capillary refill time is normally less than 2 seconds. CRT more than 2 seconds. Delayed capillary refill time is evidence of cool shock if the other parts of the triangle are abnormal. Rapid refill is also indicative of warm shock if the other parts of the triangle are abnormal and mom reports a drop in the level of consciousness. In summary, bounding pulses, warm, bright pink, flushed peripheries, herald vasodilatory shock. If the mother reports drop in the level of consciousness and the other parts of the triangle are abnormal. Cyanosis, cool peripheries, difficult to feel dorsalis pedis are late signs of vasoconstrictive shock.